Rahman Rahim, dear students across the globe, Assalamu alaikum. This is your English language teacher Muhammad Azhar Khan. Today we will discuss conjunction. What is a conjunction? Conjunction is a word that joins two words, two phrases, or two clauses in a sentence. For example, Ali and Aslam joined gym club. Neither of the boys nor of the girls showed their consent on the proposal. Although Salma had prepared herself, but she could not attend the function. Now in them, in the example, and, neither, nor, although, but. They are what? They are all conjunctions. Why we use conjunctions? in a sentence we use conjunctions in a sentence to beautify one benefit of using conjunction is to beautify our language to make it beautiful to make our writing beautiful the second is the second function of conjunction is to avoid unnecessary detail that for example Ali and Aslam Jan Gym Club now you can say Ali joined gym club, Aslam joined gym club. Now to avoid the repetition with the second name, you say both of them are Ali and Aslam joined. Similarly, neither of the boys, you can say the boys didn't show their consent on the proposal the boys didn't the girls didn't show their consent on the proposal now this neither and not saved the time the repetition and this both this neither and not made it beautiful made this sentence beautiful although Selma had prepared herself but she could not attend the function you can simply say Selma couldn't attend the function but now although and but they show the reason why she didn't attend the function besides this this these proposed these conjunction that we have used they made the sentence a bit attractive we usually start a sentence with a subject which is which becomes a bit redundant he did this thing he did this thing he did this thing he did this thing to avoid this repetition of he 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 you have to use different conjunctions it was a traditionally saying that you cannot start a sentence with a conjunction but we start it okay well uh, gentlemen kinds of conjunction we have three kinds of conjunction this categorization of conjunction into three group is for the sake of understanding means it is not necessary that this one conjunction conjunction will be used at one place in a sentence this may be used in two places in different categories for example I tell you but but is a conjunction it is used as a coordinating conjunction as as well as a subordinative conjunctions I start with coordinative conjunction we have three kinds of conjunction three categories of conjunctions one is coordinative conjunction the second is correlative conjunction the third is subordinative conjunction okay what is coordinative conjunction coordinative conjunctions are and are but and so now this and and are they are very common and mostly in schools especially in government school when we were in government school so at that time we would be taught only that there are only two conjunctions are and end but now with the passage of time and uh, with the research in the linguistics field they said that no 
there are a lot of conjunctions. Why? Conjunctions are words that join somehow, one way or the other. Two words, two clauses, or two sentences, or two phrases in a sentence. And are, but, and so. They are coordinative. Coordinative means that both the clauses in a sentence, both the phrases in a sentence, or both the uh, words in a sentence are dealt on equal basis. One is not subordinate to the others. They are dealt on the fair, equal footing. For example, and Ali and Aslam joined gem club. Okay, you can say Aslam and Ali joined club. Both are the same. No co. They are coordination. Now, I don't know. He will come or not. Now, come or not come. They are both on equal footing or on equal footing, whether he will come or not. On equal footing. This is not subordination. Then we have but. But is usually considered as subordinative conjunction. But it is also function, functioning as coordinative conjunctions. Coordinate, for example, in simple clause, in simple clause, he say, he wanted to join the club, but he couldn't manage time for it. Now, both are, he couldn't manage time and he wanted to join the club. Both are on equal footing. This is only the reason is used. What is the reason? That is the but. She was agreed to the proposal. So they got married. Easy. So is a coordinating. Both coordinating. Why she got married? Because they were agreed. She was agreed to the proposal. So the result is when a girl or a boy is agreed to the proposal, so usually it concludes in a marriage, in a wedding ceremony of the two. So there is so. They are what? They are coordinative conjunctions. Then we have correlative conjunctions. What are correlative conjunctions? Correlative conjunctions are the conjunctions that Correlative conjunctions are the conjunctions that correlate one clause with the other clause. One clause with the other clause, one phrase with the other phrase. For example, but also. They, but also is a correlative conjunction. He not only, not only, but also, he not only worked in a government institute, but he also joined a newspaper as a part-time job. But also, neither nor, neither he joined the club, nor she joined the club. Mean their correlation. Correlation means a relationship that is between the two on equal basis. Because and therefore, you see, I put comma. Because and therefore are used both, not separate. When you use them separately, then they are subordinate, subordinate of conjunction. When they use collectively in a couple, in a form of couple. So then they are correlative. Because she was ill, therefore she didn't attend the function. Subordinative conjunction. They are very common. Almost the same are here. But here they make the second clause in a sentence as subordinate clause. For example, but, because, after, before, where is, etc.
his father wanted him to become a doctor but he failed the bio paper he failed the bio paper it becomes subordinate clause because we use the subordinate but because they lost the match because the main player were not ready the main player were not ready so they lost the match after her engagement she stopped studying she stopped studying after her engagement is also correct before she joined the club she was learning driving now here she was learning driving before she joined the club at both places it comes so the second clause becomes subordinate alia agreed where is ali refused to go with their father where is so dear students we have these three categories of conjunctions coordinative conjunction correlative conjunction and subordinative conjunction and i gave the examples but they these examples these conjunctions they overlap at one place they will function as coordinate just like but and are and another place they will function as at another place they will function as correlative just as such is but also either are neither nor and they may also function as subordinate as we have discussed here but because so we have because here we have because here it depends upon the nature of the function the nature of the function in the nature of the clause okay dear cadets and students if you have any question regarding conjunction you can ask me you can write in comments you can make a call to me i'll make it clear to you please subscribe the channel if you didn't subscribe it yet and suggest it to other people as well so that the maximum number of students may get benefit of it i am grateful